Now in the wake of the death of the former United Nations Secretary General, CGTN's Tuli Shabalala takes us through the life of the man hailed as a great leader. Described as a global statesman, deeply committed to a fair and peaceful world. Sadly, once again, the biggest challenge comes from Africa, from Darfur, where the continuous spectacle of men and women and children driven from their homes by murder, rape, and burning of their villages makes a mockery of our claim as an international community to shield people from the worst abuses. Kofi Annan was born in Kumasi in Ghana on 8 April 1938, the son of a provincial governor and grandson of two tribal chiefs. Anand joined the UN in Geneva in 1962 as an administrative and budget officer with the World Health Organization. He came up through the ranks and was the first black African to be appointed the seventh Secretary General of the United Nations. He served as the world's top diplomat from 1997 to 2006. He served the UN at some of the most difficult times, the Iraqi war and the HIV AIDS pandemic. Anand was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his humanitarian work in 2001. He's acknowledged for revitalizing the UN, an advocate for human rights, the Millennium Development Goals and Africa. I depart convinced that today's United Nations does more than ever before. It does it better than ever before. Yet, our work is far from complete. Indeed, it will never be. It falls to my successor to carry forward the UN's valuable mission. From the contacts I've had with him, I already know that you have chosen well. He later served as the UN Special Envoy for Syria and continued his work on peace and development and human rights through the Kofi Annan Foundation. He joined the Elders, an elite group of former leaders founded by Nelson Mandela. On Saturday, the 18th of August, 2018, when the news of his death spread, tributes from all over the world poured in. Current UN chief Antonio Guterres has described Anand as a guiding force for good.